All right, hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Joshua McDonald. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 2024 Cadillac CT5. What we're gonna be doing is taking an in-depth review of the outside, inside, and we're also gonna take it for a test drive. So skip forward if you wanna see that. But first things first, we'll start off with the front end on this vehicle. As you can see, you have the big Cadillac badge right here in the middle of the grill. You have LED accented headlights, as you can see there. Really nice looking front end. This one is the luxury trim. So it is one of the lower models, but it doesn't compromise its beauty. This one has Michelin tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels. Chrome Cadillac badging on the side. You also do have these cool door handles. You actually don't pull on the door to open it. There's a little button on the inside that you press. Once you press that, that'll open up the door for you and you can close it back. Really nice side profile on this vehicle. Really good looking sedan. Moving around to the side, you can see we have the gas fill up here. This does have the capless gas fill system. So with this motor, premium fuel is recommended, so 93 octane. This is powered by a two liter four cylinder turbo, has 238 horsepower, and it has 257 pound feet of torque. Dual exhaust tips on the back. Here's the rear end of the vehicle. You have your CT5 badging, you have the Cadillac in the center, and you have the 350T logo in the back. You also do have pretty ample trunk space. You can open it up with the key, or you can press this button up here, and it'll open right up for you. As you can see, this is all the room that we have in the back. Also, underneath, we do have all of our tools if it comes with a tire inflator kit. There is no spare tire on this vehicle, unfortunately. So if you're stuck on the road, you will need that tire inflator kit. Now closing it up, moving around to the back seats. Let's go ahead and take a look. So nice aluminum accents on the doors. So you can see we have these pretty heavy door handles right there. This does have the Bose Performance Series audio system. You have all of your controls for the windows and doors. Also, you do have little pockets on the side for storage. Storage behind the driver and passenger seat. You'll see right here, we have two vents. We also do have a couple of phone hookups. So as you can see here, here's a cigarette lighter port and a USB-C. Full leather seating surfaces. Feels really nice to the touch, really premium as a Cadillac should be. But hopping inside, here's all the room that I have. That seat is how I would be sitting if I was driving. I'm about six foot tall. This is eye level for me, so pretty good headroom. You also do have a sunroof up here that opens up for the second row. Handles on the side, a light, all of that stuff. You also do have two cup holders for the middle seat, but really nice second row, not a bad place to sit at at all. We'll go ahead and hop up front. So here's the driver's seat. It is fully power, so you can move it forwards, backwards. You can tilt the lower portion up or down. You can also move the whole assembly down or up. You can also recline or move the seat forward. And you do have your lumbar controls. On the door, you have fully automatic windows all the way around, all of your mirror controls. And you can also open up the trunk from the front. So when you push that button, that trunk will open right up for you just like that. But let's go ahead and hop inside. Start up the Cadillac CT5. You just put your foot on the brake, hit the start button, and she comes to life. So a few safety features in this, safety features in this vehicle that I'll point out. You do have blind spot monitoring there in the mirrors. That little car right there will light up orange if something's in your blind spot. Um, you also do have forward collision, so you can have a three car, two car, or one car length adjustment on that. We also do have an electronic parking brake here on the side that you can activate by pushing this button with your foot on the brake. Manual adjustment for the steering wheel so you can move it forwards, backwards, up and down. We'll go ahead and lock that back. Also you can adjust how bright your display is on the center here by using this dial. A little cubby right here for storage. And you also do have paddles behind the steering wheel so you can downshift or upshift that 10 speed transmission very easily. You also have all of your cruise control buttons in one place. This is that forward collision button. 
do have hands-free voice commands and call dropping. Also on this side, you can see up or down through your music. You can control the center screen by scrolling down or up, left and right. And you also do have a check mark right here that you can press to enter. You can turn your volume down or up on the right side of the steering wheel. And moving to the center, you do have different drive modes on this vehicle. So if you hit that, we can go to my mode, snow and ice, sport, and tour. Also, you have your traction control button, auto hold. So if you're stopped at a stoplight, you can push that button and it'll hold the brake for you and your automatic stop start. A little bit of storage here in the center, wireless phone charger right here, and two cup holders that you can close or open. This is your volume adjustment, so you can turn your volume up or down. You can also mute and unmute. You have quick buttons right here for your music, navigation, you can go back, and you can use your phone. This dial right here will let you select anything from the menu. So if you scroll to the left or right, you can navigate that menu and you can also push it down to pick any tab that you want. Also, you do have this center console. It does have a holder here for your phone, a couple phone hookups, SD card for navigation, and you do have a cigarette lighter port as well. This is lined in felt, so it feels really nice and it holds stuff in place pretty good. Moving to the center, we have our front and back parking sensors that we can turn on or off, hazards, lane keep assist that you can turn on or off, and all of your AC controls in one place. You have fan speed, you have dual zone climate, so the passenger side can be different from the driver. Moving up, you have two AC vents. You have a home button right here for the center menu. Right here is the main screen, so you'll be able to see your navigation and what music is playing. You can also swipe to the right to see your audio, phone, navigation, Wi-Fi hotspot, user settings, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as these other tabs. The shifter right here is pretty unique. So there's a button on the side that you press. You can push all the way up for reverse. When you go on reverse, your backup camera will be displayed. You can also pull it back for drive and pull back again for manual mode. You push the P for park. And if you wanna go into neutral, you just press it up very slightly. Here's your rear view mirror. You also do have a makeup mirror on both sides with lights and all of your OnStar buttons in one place. You also do have your sunroof controls so you can open them up. It'll open up the front and back one. This front one right here, you can also slide open as well as close it. And you do have a tilt control as well if you wanna tilt it up three different garage door openers, and you do have your map lights up here as well. Here's your glove box with plenty of storage space. Nice leather seating surfaces up front. Leather feels just as good as the back. You can see the aluminum accents all the way around. Super nice interior, but that's it for the inside and outside portion of this. Let's go ahead and take her on the road. All right, guys, so taking off in the Cadillac CT5, let's go ahead and put it in drive. I'll also change the mode to sport, so we'll start off in that one. And we'll see what this four cylinder's got. So first thing I noticed, this steering wheel feels really good. It feels really sporty. It's a really nice size. Um, turns pretty good. We'll go ahead and give it a turning radius check. Let's go ahead and crank it all the way. Yeah, it turns in a circle very well. No drama, no extras. Right. And we'll go up here, we'll give it some gas. See how it feels. You can definitely hear that four cylinder, it is pretty loud when you're in sport mode all right let's go ahead and turn out of here and we'll give it some gas yeah so acceleration isn't that impressive but it does get up and go um, I know a lot of people will opt in for the sportier CT5 V series if you're looking for some extra power but for the price point, I really don't think you can beat it for a luxury four-door sedan that you're gonna drive every day. But 
we'll go ahead and change the modes again. We'll go into tour mode, see how that feels. So yeah, that loosens up the steering a bit. Also notice the motor is a lot quieter. But really smooth, just rolling down the road. Soaks up the bumps very well. Really quiet inside this cabin, which is nice. Go ahead and put it back in sport mode and we'll try out these paddle shifters. So I'm gonna pull it back for manual mode. So right now I'm in sixth gear. We'll downshift up to the stop sign. Fifth, fourth, third, second. So it doesn't shift very fast. It's about a second in between every gear. Go ahead and try out some acceleration. So into second, third, fifth six so this is a 10 speed automatic transmission um, when you just leave it in the regular mode the drive mode you really don't feel the shifts at all it just keeps going and going and going right, let's put it back in tour mode And we'll head up on the highway up here, see how she does. So you have your navigation on the center screen, which is nice. Really good layout on the inside. Cup holders are in a good spot, shifters in a good spot. You have a nice armrest right here that's super comfortable. All of your controls are right by your hand, which is super convenient. But yeah, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and open up the sunroof. See how the noise is with that. Also, I'll try that, that auto hold. So I have that activated, took my foot off the brake and it's just holding for me, which is nice. So if you're at a long stoplight in the city, like how I am, you can just sit here and relax. But we'll go ahead and turn that off and we'll go ahead and take off. With the sunroof open there is a little bit of wind noise but that's to be expected but it does give you a nice open air feel let's go ahead and close that up before we head back on the highway all right a lot of bumps right here so let's see how it soaks it up really nice suspension on this it's super comfortable i love the seats on this vehicle they do hold you in pretty good and the leather on it is super soft and comfortable well, we'll do some highway driving up here. Let's go ahead and give it some gas and merge over. All right, so we'll go ahead and set the cruise control. Got it set to about 75 miles per hour. So yeah, rolls down the highway, super nice. Um, this doesn't have adaptive cruise or anything like that. It's just regular cruise control, so you definitely have to manage your distance. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see, you know, somebody taking long trips in this vehicle. Really comfortable to drive on the highway, but we'll go ahead and take the ramp up here. Head back, we'll take a look at the window sticker, gas mileage, everything like that. Don't know if you just saw that, but that's the forward collision system telling me to brake. Um, you can't adjust the distance on that, so right now it's on the max one. We'll go ahead and put that to one, so it's not blaring every five seconds. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at the dealership. All right, guys, so back at the dealership, we'll take one last look at the outside of the Cadillac CT5. If you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Subscribe down below to see more cars for sure. And let me know what you guys think of this sedan down in the comments down below. Would you guys rather have this or a BMW, Mercedes? What do you guys think? But we'll go ahead and take a look at the window sticker. Like I said, this is the 2024 Cadillac CT5 Luxury. 
Summit white with a jet black interior. 2 liter turbo motor with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Standard vehicle price comes in at $38,395. This one has the sun and sound package, so a destination charge comes out to $42,590. Now, with this 2 liter turbo, you're going to get 23 miles per gallon city, 33 highway, and 27 miles per gallon combined. You have five star safety ratings across the board. And here's a whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at it. But that's it for now. I appreciate you guys watching if you're still here till the very end. You're also going to see a few videos here in the corners. So if you guys see any vehicles that interest you, make sure to click on those and check them out. But that's it for now. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.